Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Christina and today we're going to be talking about some of the best money saving tips for 2021. And with these tips, this is going to help you save money fast. And a lot of these tips you may not have even heard of. Be sure to stick around to the end and I will share my bonus tip with you. This is something that I've been using for a long time and I want to go ahead and share that so you can take advantage of that too. So let's get started. So these aren't just the normal tips that you have been hearing. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and unsubscribe from all of those retailer emails. So you know how around the holidays we were getting emails every day for sales and they were sending coupons. And you know, it's great for whenever you're trying to buy gifts and you're trying to do Christmas shopping, but Christmas is over and we don't need to be getting those emails and being tempted with going shopping and buying things that we don't even need. So go ahead, unsubscribe from all of those retailers. I know you're not going to get those emails, but you know what? It's fine. There's always going to be, there's always going to be a sale. There's always going to be items on sale. So you're not going to miss anything. So if you're not getting the emails, then you don't even know. You don't even know about it. So it's, it's not a big deal. So you can unsubscribe from those and that way you're not tempted. Now, don't worry if you if you want to if you need to go shopping again and you want to get coupons you can always sign back up they'll send you coupons i promise no one no retailer has ever said you cannot sign back up if you unsubscribe from our email service i promise they want you to come in their stores and spend your money so to reduce that temptation just go ahead and unsubscribe that way you're not getting those emails so the second thing that you want to do is you want to do an account and reckoning. You want to look at what you're paying out every month. Look at what's coming in. You know, maybe you're paying out on subscriptions that you didn't even know that you were a part of. So now's the time to go ahead and to reevaluate those things and decide if that's really something that you want to keep paying on. Because you know, you may, you may be paying for something that you didn't even know that you had. You know, so many people are guilty of signing up for free trials and forgetting to cancel before the trial ends. So that's what these retailers want. They want you to sign up and forget because then they're making, they're taking that money out of your account every month. And after a while, you just kind of forget about it. So we don't want to do that because that's the same as just throwing money out the window. And we work too hard for our money and we don't want to do that. Now is the time to adjust your budget. So what I mean by that is at the beginning of every year, that is a great time to go ahead and compare car insurance quotes, house insurance quotes, um, check around about cell phone plans. You might be able to get a cheaper plan somewhere else. And you know, now's a great time to do that and save money. I was, I actually did this last year and I ended up saving like six or $700 a year on my car insurance. So I was like so excited about that. So yes, yeah, so you definitely want to check into that. Next thing that I want to talk about is number three, go on a spending strike. Because yes, we still have to buy groceries. We still have to buy necessities. You know, that's fine. But what I mean by a spending strike is set yourself a goal, whether it be a month, two months, three months, four months. But technically, I mean, it's, we just had Christmas. We should have, you know, everything we need. We shouldn't really have to spend any more money until the spring. So if you can go on a spending strike and not do any shopping for say three months, look at the money that you're gonna save. Um, if you have makeup, this is something I like to do. If I have beauty products, I won't buy any more. I use what I have. I try to use every bit of it because let's face it women, we have entirely too many beauty products and we can definitely use some of that up before we buy more. So yes, go on that spending strike and have fun with it. You know, set a goal um, and just challenge yourself. See how far you can go. If you can actually go three months without buying a new shirt or, or something that you don't really even need. All right, number four, spend more time on meal prep. Focus on making meals that you can eat on more than once. 
So whether it be leftovers for the next night's dinner or lunch for the next day. So if you can cook a meal and eat on it twice, then look at the money that you're already saving. So like if I make a big pot of chili or a vegetable soup, we'll eat on that for a few nights and then I'll freeze the rest of it and we'll eat on that at a later date. So not only am I saving time, I'm saving money because I'm preparing a meal that we're gonna eat several meals out of. And this is a great way to cut back on those food costs and, and it really saves you time in the long run because you're making meals ahead of time. So by doing that, you're not only saving time and money, but you're preventing yourself from waiting till the last minute and being tempted to just go through the drive-thru or grab takeout somewhere. And you can just pull something out of the freezer and have a nice home-cooked meal. Next one, number four, cut back on eating out or cut it out completely. Just imagine the money that you would save if you only ate out, let's say, once a month. So if you can cut back on eating out or if you just cut it out completely, that right there is gonna save you so much money because eating out is very expensive and the more people that you're feeding, if you have multiple children, if you have several children that you're feeding and you're eating out, I mean, that adds up over time. I mean, I, I know this, I have, I raised four kids, so it was expensive to eat out, so we didn't eat out a whole lot. So yeah, definitely um, work on that. You know, maybe you can incorporate that into your spending strike. You know, you can decide, okay, we're not gonna be eating out for the next you know, month or two. We're gonna save that money, put it towards something else. Okay, the next one, I love this one. Number five, piggyback your services. And what I'm talking about is say if you have a Netflix service and maybe a friend or one of your family members has HBO or maybe an Amazon Prime membership, you guys can, one of you can have the Netflix and the other one can have the Prime membership, but you both can use it. So this is something that we do in our family. So, you know, if you have Netflix, then maybe one of your kids or family members or friends can use that. And maybe they have a Disney Plus membership that, that you would like to be a part of, then, you know, you can have their login and you can use that service. So you're getting the benefit of multiple services and maybe you're only paying for one service. So if you are paying for cable right now, then you need to check out my video on how to watch TV for free. I'm gonna link that up above, so just check that out because we shouldn't be paying $100 a month for a cable bill or satellite bill, that's ridiculous. And number six, cut back on services that you can do yourself, people. I'm telling you, cut back on services that you can do yourself. So if you're paying to take the dog to the groomer every couple of weeks or you're paying to go get your nails done or a pedicure or your hair done, try to cut back on these services and or maybe go longer in between visits. That will help save you money and you'd be surprised at how quickly those, those fees add up. So yeah, if you can cut back on those services and do some of those things yourself or just maybe spread the time out in between visits that will help save money. Take advantage of money saving apps. Rakuten, Swagbucks, Ibotta, those apps are all great. I personally use them and love them. Um, you're gonna be buying groceries and necessities anyway, so you might as well be taking advantage of earning points that you can redeem for gift cards later on. So yes, if you aren't using those apps already, I dropped the links below, so go ahead and check those out. Now, here is my bonus tip, okay? This is something that I do, and I'm gonna share this with you. Um, one thing I like to do is at Christmas time, if I get gift cards for Christmas, or my gift cards that I get from, you know, Swagbucks and those money-saving apps, I will save those, and I will use them for birthday gifts throughout the year. So if I get a gift card for Christmas, you know, I. I necessarily don't need something right now and I don't need to go out and spend the gift card. So I'll just hold on to the gift card and whenever I have birthdays that come up and I need to buy gifts for them, I'll use the gift card to buy birthday gifts with. So this is a, this is a great hack to do. Um, 
Also with those money saving apps, those gift cards that you're earning, you can go ahead and save those gift cards and use those for special occasions, birthdays, different things like that. So yeah, that's my bonus tip. Um, I've been doing that for a long time now and I have been able to buy numerous, numerous presents. All right guys, I hope that you found these tips helpful. Um, I am so excited to start the new year. I'm so excited for my new goals I've set and I wanna hear what's your new goal for the year? Do you, are you saving for something big? Maybe you're saving for a vacation that you, that you didn't get to take last year. I would love to hear that. So drop me a comment below. Let me know what, what are you saving for? All right, guys. So if you liked our video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. That really helps our channel out. It helps put our content in front of more people. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.